Harvey here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the AI anime effect you guys saw in the beginning thought it looked pretty cool so I'm excited to show you guys how to make it if you guys want to support me I have a website with some editing packs that could you know benefit you in your editing and save time uh, but yeah let's get right into this tutorial here so the first thing you're going to do is to import your footage you want to use for this uh, effect and I'm gonna use this clip here from Kani's music video I know and when you have chosen your clip here you're going to render it out so you're going to go up to file export add to render queue and then here you're going to go into output module and then change the format from for me it's AVI to PNG sequence and you press ok and then you're going to make a whole new folder where all of your PNG frames are going to be in make one and do that first then we just press render and then you're going to open up a website called Deep AI. And here you're going to upload your first frame here. So do that. And then when you have uploaded it, you're going to type in here anime and then press generate. And then when you generate, it should look something like this here. And it looks pretty weird here, but you can regenerate all the time. So you get the look you guys like. Okay, so I thought this looked pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look like perfect, you know, anime, of course, <laughs> yes, it's AI, but uh, I think it makes a pretty, pretty cool effect when you have all these different versions of uh, anime. You're basically going to press enhance to get a more high quality version of the image, and then you're going to press download. And then you want to do the same process again for how many frames you want this effect to appear on. And when you're done with that, you're going to import all of your frames and then you basically just want to cut away one frame here all the time. Select the layer, press Ctrl Shift D, do this on all the frames you have generated. And if you accidentally uh, didn't press enhance, you can just increase the scale here. So now we have something like this, which I thought looked pretty cool. And I just want to add some extra effects here. So I'm going to make a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to be adding sharpen, set the sharpen amount to 50 to pop a little bit more and then Ctrl Alt Y again. And you're going to add curves here just to increase the contrast here a little bit. Something like this maybe looks very clean. And when you're satisfied with your effect, you can mark all the layers, pre-compose. And then here you're going to add RSMB, so it becomes a lot more cleaner during the transition between the frames here. So I'm going to set the blur amount to 1, alt motion CRS to AI anime, our composition. And then the motion sensitivity to 100. Just to spice it up a little bit more, I'm gonna use a CC from my new CC pack. So here I'm going to add the 6 CC from my uh, CC pack. Pretty cool CC in my opinion. So yeah, if you are interested in my in this CC, you can check out my website uh, where you can find it for a very cheap price. I thought this effect looks pretty, pretty cool. And uh, as I showed you guys now, you can really spice it up with some extra effects on top of it. I really have to learn AI more because it's a pretty, pretty cool tool to use for editing. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And if you have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. And don't forget to, you know, check out my website for the CC, <laughs> join my Discord server, check out my socials, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.